sick, Palestinian rapist found not guilty because he didn't know rape was a crime, it's going viral. Welcome to Canada, where blatantly inappropriate behavior is fine and acceptable, so long as you are a migrant from the Middle East. According to a shocking report from Ottawa Citizen, an Ottawa migrant was found not guilty for rape and sexual assault because he claims that he sincerely did not know that having sex without one's wife without her consent is against the law in virtually all Western countries. Ontario Superior Court Justice Robert Smith ruled that the suspect could not be proven guilty on the grounds that the court could not identify criminal intent, which is key to pinning a sexual assault case. The judge overtly admitted that it was clear he was having sex with the victim whenever he wanted and without her consent, though the case was muddied because both he and his wife believed that he had the right to do so. How many other migrants in North America have no idea that the laws of their own land did not carry over into ours? The marriage was arranged in Gaza and afterwards the man moved to Ottawa where his wife lived. His wife testified in court that, while he did force himself upon her many times throughout the marriage, they both had considered it her duty and they lived this way for many years. It wasn't until she was speaking to a police officer during the dispute over child custody, that she learned that it was in fact within her rights to refuse sexual relations with her husband, and could even bring a case to the court were she to be violated. At first the husband blatantly denied the allegations even going so far as to claim a hair transplant made him unable to have sex for two weeks just to get out of it. The courts obviously saw through his lie. Any sexual contact without explicit and ongoing consent is sexual assault, regardless of the relationship, said Carolyn Johnston, acting executive director of the Ottawa Coalition to End Violence Against Women. He may have believed that he had a right to have sex with her as her husband but Canadian sexual assault law is clear and was amended to include sexual assault against a spouse in 1983. Now that Johnston and her fellow feminists have come to this stark revelation, perhaps their time would be usefully spent informing this to the droves of Muslim migrants they are actively bringing into their country. What's worse is that there are growing numbers of migrants who not only do not know the laws of America, but actively campaign to overthrow these laws and replace them with Sharia. There is a rising number of cases in which civil law clashes with Sharia law, and Sharia is more often winning. In one landmark 2010 pro-Sharia ruling, SDV. MJR, Judge Joseph Charles Jr. of New Jersey ruled that a Muslim ex-husband had repeatedly raped his Muslim ex-wife, but upon listening to the testimony of the man's imam, he absolved the man's guilt and denied the wife's request for a restraining order on him. And in 2007, a Quran was used to swear into office U.S. Congressman Keith Ellison, making the former spokesperson for the Nation of Islam the second highest ranked leader of the Democratic National Committee. Committee.